So the most critical and sneako beef has finally come to almost like its climax, I, I'd really say, is that about, I think it was like yesterday or the day before, I can't exactly re um, remember, but they decided to actually get into a call together, which to me was actually really surprising. Like I didn't expect them to actually get into a phone call and have a debate, especially as civil as this was, because if you've like uh, kept up with their whole entire beef over the past like what year or two that's been going on, every single time that they've talked about each other majority of the time it's been extremely hostile like it really has especially last year when it like started to get to its like uh, what we thought was its peak of where you know on stream Sneeko pulled out a, a gun and started flashing the ammo onto screen and then um, Charlie made a follow-up video of him showing like an AR-15 I think it was or just say it, it was absolutely crazy but they actually decided to get onto a phone call together and they have a bit of a debate about certain topics that they've disagreed with in the past. And I just want to say this right now, that to me, I would have to say this would have to be one of the worst debates and one of the worst, like, takes ever. Like, the whole entire thing, I, like, I see so many people on Twitter saying, like, Oh, Sneeko definitely won this debate, or Moist Critical definitely won this debate. Neither of them did. Let's be honest. So like, uh, what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm not going to go through the whole entire debate because they were talking for like a couple hours. But what I'm mainly going to do is go through like a couple of the points of where both of them really missed. Like some, some real terror, like some what I think is like the main points that a lot of people are talking about. And give my point of view and give my point of why I think that these are kind of our takes. And like I said, is that to me, the whole entire debate was just full of that. Neither of them won the debate. Whether you think it or not, whether you're like, nah, Sneeko definitely won, or nah, Charlie definitely won. It's just like, no, to me, I, I feel like both of them had outtakes. And this is someone coming from, this is coming from someone who's been a fan of Charlie for years. Like, I, I like Moist Critical. I like Charlie. And even I admit, it's just like, bro, you, you, did, you did miss on this a bit. So the first one we are gonna talk about is Sneeko's take. And Sneeko for a while now, has um, had his takes on when it comes to the age of consent. And to me, I have always thought that him having the, the um, you know, what the age of consent is and how it should be fine for someone to be married at such a young age. To me, I think that is absolutely disgusting. And that is exactly what he said, that he thinks that a 15-year-old should be able to marry someone who is over the age of 18. Talking about your personal beliefs, do you think, you, do you think someone in their 20s should be able to marry a 15 or 16-year-old? To someone in their 20s should be, I mean, I personally wouldn't do it. I, I don't know many people who would do it. The maturity for people in the teenagers in, in the West is, is getting much worse, but there are- We're talking globally. Let's just talk globally. Like, do you think it is okay for, I'm not talking about just you specifically anymore, anyone. Do you think it's okay for anyone in their 20s, an adult, to marry a 15 or 16 year old? A 21 year old, if, if there was a, a marriage where the father consented and the daughter consented, and it was both good on both families and they wanted to do it. Why am I going to get involved? Why should we get the government involved? Well, why, 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 why would involved I tell them if, already, if everybody's you're... consenting, if everybody's okay with it, if the parents are okay with it, if nobody's being harmed, if it's going to be okay, if they're both abiding by, by the rules and they're not hurting each other, why not? But it, they're, they're still, like they're at best a sophomore in high school. They can't consent to something like that. Like, do you... Now, to me, I find this take extremely stupid for multiple reasons. Now, one of the reasons is, is because someone in their 20s is of legal age, while someone at, at the age of 15 is a, still a minor. And I see so many people on the internet, to, and I, I really hate this, like, uh, sentiment behind it, is that like, oh, but in some countries, the age of consent is 13, is 14, it's actually this age, so really, if you think about it, it's, to me, no, th th it may have, it may be that, but I still think that that is absolutely disgusting, I think that it is wrong, even to me, like, I'm 26 years of age right now, and I'm gonna give my personal opinion on all this, is that, even for me, I'm single, and like whenever I see someone on a dating app, even if I see someone who's 18, 19, even I avoid that. Because to me, as someone in their 20s, talking to someone who is still in their teen years is just weird. Like if I was 26 and even if the age of consent was 13, wouldn't you find it weird that you're still dating someone who is in high school? That's why I feel like the age of consent is around the age of 18 is because that's when people start to actually mature. They finish high school and they actually go out 
into the real world. That's why it's there. And I always see, like, the excuse of, like, oh, but 17, like, what? why is it 18? Like, what's wrong if it's seven, 17 and 355 days? It's like, we have to put a line in the sand somewhere. Like, there has to be a line somewhere. And you have to be strict with that line. I feel like once you allow a little bit of leeway with certain rules, that's where then it starts to, you know, you start to become more and more, like, there's more leeway that's pushed against that rule, which is why, you know, if there's a rule of this is the age of consent, that's where it should stand. And like I said to me, is that, like, dating someone who's still in high school, hasn't had any, like, real-world uh, experiences, gone out into the real world, had, like, an actual professional job, finished high school, had a proper education, and he started to interact with other people out in the real world for a long period of time, they're, 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 the amount of maturity and experience they ha I have in their brain isn't able to con comprehend a lot of, like, you know, real-world experiences and just be able to make their actual own real decisions. And, you know, there is, there's been, like, so many studies about the age of, like, maturity and when your brain starts to, like, starts to develop and when it finishes developing. And, like, even then, the brain doesn't really finish developing until your mid to late 30s. So just imagine that if your brain is developing still in your teenage years and it still is developing into your late 20s, just imagine how much immature you are when you're in your teenage years. Like if me, if I think back of when I was like 16 years of age, oh my God, I was an idiot. I was a dumbass. Are you, you think I'm going to be able to make some actual logical decisions while I'm like 15, 16? Hell no. Even when I was 18, 19. Really, I think I only started making logical decisions in the past year. Even then. Even then, some of them are questionable. And you think that I'm going to make good decisions? And you think I'm mature enough to be able to date someone in their 20s? No. To me, I, I find it extremely stupid. And then what would have to be um, Charlie's take that everyone is talking about as well is when it comes to the whole entire like hormone therapy and whether or not you know a child should be able to transition from going say if they were born a male and transition into being a female while they are still a minor do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy can they change their gender if they're a child i think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting <laughs> as you agree with. okay so as long as everyone your parents are okay with it and you are okay with it i am i think that's totally a fam familiar decision to make yeah okay so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever but they can't get married oh well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party so if you have someone that's your age coming in saying i want to marry that child i yep i don't think that can happen under any circumstance so you, no. but it's still a personal decision you're still deciding. It's, it's, it's but still, no, but it's, no, because there's take a, the other party out of the equation. It's a personal it's decision. Not. If I'm or if I'm 16 and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful. She's 21 years old. Her family wants to do it. My family wants to do it. You're saying I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's that woman's a pedophile. But if then the next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my penis off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete, yep, I believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do. Oh. Now, this is obviously a hot take all around. Like, like just not just from this, like, specific debate, but, in, but the whole entire discussion of whether someone should be able to transition from a young age is discussed so much on the internet these days. It is such a heavy and hard debate. And usually I stay away from a lot of stuff like this, but I feel like it's actually becoming more acceptable to talk about this stuff and have a little bit more of a logical debate. Like I even feel like a year ago, it was really hostile and whether you spoke your mind about it, you would get jumped on. But now everyone's starting to hear each other out, which I think is really good. And the reason why a lot of people are saying that this is an outtake from Charlie, and to give my personal opinion on it is, I have to say this right now, is that I have nothing wrong with people from the transgender community. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. If you want to be trans, do what you want. I, I, I don't care. If you were born a male and you want to become a female, that's absolutely fine. But the thing that I have like a, a problem with it is that if parents are allowing their kids to transition at such a young age and allow them to go on puberty blockers, the reason for that is because puberty blockers are extremely bad for kids. Like this isn't just a thing of like, oh, I'm not, I don't want the kid to be who they are. Listen, if, if the kids, are, if the kids, are, if your kid is male 
and it wants to wear a dress, that's that's your own thing. Like, do do what you want. I I, I ain't gonna say anything of whether your your son wants to wear a dress or not. That 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 ain't that ain't my like actual thing. But to give your kid puberty blockers, you are actively like hurting that child. Like there are so many side effects and complications with puberty blockers. Some of them are like not all like just you know minor. Say I've got like one here, like swelling at the side of a shot that happens. Everything weight gain, hot flashes, headaches. Mood changes is extremely bad thing. But then one of the like long term effects, growth spurts, bone growth bone density, and can actually hurt fertility. So say if your child, you know, at later points decides that they don't want to, you know, transition anymore and they want to go back to being, you know, a male, say if they were for, wanted to go from male to female when they're of a, like, you know, in their teenage years or being like, you know, late toddler and early uh, when they were a kid, and then all of a sudden they become an adult and they, they no longer want to transition and then they want to try and have kids, their fer fertility and their whole entire body can be absolutely wrecked because of these puberty blockers. So to me, I think that it's like, hey, sit your kid down, talk them out, say like, hey, you know, you, you can identify however you want. That's, you know, I don't really give a, give a damn about that. But to like medicate your kid with all this stuff at some, such a young age, wait till they're an adult. Wait till they're an adult, till they fully like mature into their bodies and they're no longer going through puberty. Because messing with a child's like puberty while they're going through puberty is extremely bad. Like there are so many studies, so many videos that are out there of even like people who did try to transition at a young age and took puberty blockers and how badly it really did mess up their mental health and their bodies altogether. And then some of them regret it later on in their lives as well. So it's like, it's something you have to really take into caution. Like I said, if, you, if you're an adult and you want to transition, all power to you, do what you want. You're an adult. You have the absolute choice to do what you want. But when you're a kid, I feel like you truly don't know what you want. Like, let's be honest. Like I said, it's even, it even comes down to what like Sneeko said about the thing of like consent is that when you're, when you're at a young age, you don't know what you want. You really don't. It's not until you're really in your 20s that that's when it's like, I know what I want with my life. I really know who I am and what I want. It's the same thing with consent. And it's the same thing with, with like this thing about transitioning as well. Is that when you're a teenager, you don't know what you really want. Like think about you when you were a teenager. Do you really, did you, like how different were you back then to now? Like, and you're probably influenced a lot by certain things that are going online or certain, like, you know, people that you follow and influence and all that. And you're easily influenced by others as well. So you truly don't know who you are. And to, like, you know, block that away from a kid to allow them to either, you know, marry someone who's in their 20s, even if, you know, all parties are fine with it. Same with, you know, hormone therapy and allow kids to be on it and all parties are involved. These guys are, like, almost arguing the exact same thing that they really if you really think about it the age of consent and allowing a kid to be on puberty blockers from a young age are both the same goddamn thing it really if you think about it it really is because it comes down to a teenager and a kid who doesn't truly know what they want that's what it actually all comes down to but i would definitely like to hear what you guys have to think about all of this down below don't be hostile in the comments. This is just a conversation. Let me know what you think. Don't come at anyone for this. If someone has a different opinion to you, that's absolutely fine, whether you think they're wrong or not. But that's going to be it from me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Peace out.